Hey everyone, I'm Asha from Cool Flame TV, and today we are hanging out with the beautiful Valley. Hi. Thank <laughs> you. Hi. Thank you for sitting and talking with us today. Of course. All right, so let's get into it. You just uh, released a second EP, Paper Straight, last mm -hmm. year. Um, tell me about it. Tell me about the project, what the theme was, um, who'd you work with? So Paper Charade is um, a bunch of songs that I wrote in the past year or two. Mm -hmm. It's my second project, but I felt very attached to this one because I wrote more directly about my life mm -hmm. and it was about love and how much I want money. <laughs> <laughs> so that's right. why Paper Charade um, came to be because paper as in like paper money, but also mm -hmm. like you pay per charade the games that you play. Okay. So it's kind of an ode to the lovers and the hustlers out there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what would you say is the biggest difference between your first project and um, Paper Charade? My first project, Kiss the Sky, was definitely more pop. It was more, I had some pop, urban pop songs on there, but it was more just a fun, just party kind of EP. Mm -hmm. And this one is just a little deeper, and I'm cutting in even deeper. Okay, so this one is um, more inspired by your life. Yeah, definitely, okay. definitely. Like, even Dimes Alone, like, just the fact that I've been working so hard since I was 10, mm -hmm. and just the fact that, like, I did an acoustic version of it instead of just leaving it on the surface. Mm -hmm. Like I'm trying to get, you know, more experience as a writer too. Yeah. So, um, to tell me about your musical influences. Well, growing up in New York, um, music is such a big part of our culture. Mm -hmm. So the hip hop scene is so big. I mean, I grew up loving Aaliyah, Destiny's Child, Maya. Like those were my influences growing up and Gwen Stefani and Fergie. But I would say Gwen Stefani was a big person I looked up to fashion-wise okay. and just culture in general. Being out here, there's so much fashion. Yeah, you I, can heard, wear I heard you're a big vintage fan. And I you love, like, uh, love, love, love all our stores in LA. <laughs> yes, because in New York, it's kind of like, you take the subway everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I was always dressing kind of different, but I always felt judged mm -hmm. in some way, just because like it's more, I don't know, contained, mm -hmm. but out here, like, go to West Hollywood, you can literally go out in, like, a thong bikini, <laughs> and people are like, hey, girl! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that actually would work in West Hollywood. It I would. would. They would work be like, you look so fly, Yeah, girl. exactly. Off of Santa Monica Boulevard, that might not uh, Or Venice Beach. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what sets you apart from everyone else in the industry? Like, what are you bringing to the table? Well, I think just my background in general, where I come from, and my mentality has just separated me always mm -hmm. you know honestly like you know, I grew up in a single parent home my mom didn't have anything I had to work when I was a kid to get what I wanted so I've just always had that mentality and I have a big story I have a lot to say for me I you know things weren't ever given to me mm -hmm. ever and they still aren't I'm still fighting every day still hustling so I feel like that's just a story that a lot of females I haven't met a lot of them that are like that I want to be a brand or do you just want to solely focus on um, you know, being an artist and saying true to your music. Because, you know, it's a little bit, it's different it now. Is. I think you have to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, either you're an actor who then branches out and starts organizations and mm -hmm. clothing lines and, you know, producing, or you become an, a singer. And I think when I was in New York, I did a lot of theater, mm -hmm. but there was something missing there because I, I wasn't creating it. Right. So for me, I want to create. Okay. And that's just like in my life until I die. Like I just always want to create, whether it's fashion okay. or blogs or whatever it is, like that's just my motto. I just want to stay creating because that's what keeps me alive, I think. Um, obviously, as a woman, love is always one of the <laughs> easiest things People to write about. People tell me I write too much about love. I'm <laughs> well, like, no, you know. No. I mean, <laughs> listen, that's a, a thing that will never get old. Um, but what are some of the other topics you enjoy writing about? Um, I like writing party records. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I started writing a little bit more dirty records. Oh, okay. <laughs> just for fun, you uh -huh. know? Like, we all go there, please. <laughs> I think Miley opened a whole new can of worms for everybody. Um, <laughs> oh, Lord. But, no, I like, I like writing about partying. I like writing about fun, you know, when I'm not writing about love. Mm -hmm. I like writing about money. Okay. I mean, I'm honest, I like money. <laughs> I, I don't know anyone who would disagree with that. Explain to me what urban pop is to you. Okay, so my sound, urban pop, definitely has like urban kicks to it. It feels like it can be played, you know, next to another urban record. Mm -hmm. But my vocals are always a little pop on the popier side. Mm -hmm. I don't really have a very big R&B voice. 
Um, but sometimes I spit, mm -hmm. so I kind of, it just all kind of incorporates together. I would say Gwen Stefani is a really big influence on my music, mm -hmm. um, combined with like a Rihanna element mm -hmm. in there, I think, and maybe a little Beyonce when I wanna. <laughs> so tell me about the process of getting signed and um, where your team is trying to take you, like what your, their vision is for you as an artist. Once you get signed, does not mean you made it. Yeah, you know, know there's know. like that's just the beginning of another <laughs> Hollywood Hill. You know. Yeah. So I think just getting this project off the ground, it's now starting. You okay. know, even though I I released my first project last year, my second project last year, it's like now we just have to build the train like to get it going. Having a team with like. All the people I've worked with under under Rashram, they all believe in me. Hey, yeah, you know you have some pretty good label mates over there. Yeah, <laughs> even my label, like from label mates to managers yeah. to like you know the marketing, mm -hmm. it's it's everyone believes in the artist. That's why they don't have a big roster, right? Because it's like, you know, they want to really invest in each artist. Okay. So I think that's why I love being signed to them. This year is gonna be interesting. I'm definitely dropping more music, okay. more features, more videos. I'm getting into more fashion stuff. Okay and just keep it. I was gonna ask you, what can we expect from you from 2014? I mean, it's in a year, so yeah. literally the sky's the limit. Yeah. Um, fashion seems like it would be a good place for you. Yeah, just, you know, I would love a good style. to go to Fashion Week somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and touring, you mm -hmm. wanna do, um, tour, do you have, like what venue would be, um, you know, like ideal for you this year? Interestingly, I would like to perform at the Troubadour. Oh, okay. Because um, one of my first concerts ever was a Mac Miller concert. Yeah. It was just the first time he performed in LA. It was at the Troubadour. It was sold out. And I remember sitting backstage and just being like, wow, this is a really cool space. Yeah. Even though it's not a Madison Square yeah, Garden yeah, or anything. Yeah, of course. It's just really cool. But it's to iconic, me. too. Yeah, so. and it just has that like vibe to me mm -hmm. where I've been here and I've watched an artist here that now is like, fool. Tell me something about you that your fans wouldn't know. I love food. Okay. I've become very obsessed with going out and like trying different foods. Mm -hmm. I think someday I'd want a cooking show. Nice. Wait, yeah. Do you have cooking skills or? Girl, I could throw down. Okay. And what has been the greatest piece of advice that you've received so far that um, has kind of resonated with you the most? I think you have to do it for the love of whatever it is that you're doing. You know, yes, we all love money. Mm -hmm. Yes, we all love success, but Going into something saying like, I want to be famous, is just so, you know, one level. It's just, there's no substance. You have to really believe in whatever it is that you're doing because if you don't like, if you don't have passion for it, you won't get through. Right. This business is like, like this, you right. know? One minute you feel like, wow, I'm doing really well. And then the next day you're like, oh, Beyonce just released that photo. <laughs> all those videos. I have a really long way to go. Yeah. So you have to really love it. For 2014, for Valley, 2014 is going to be the year of? 2014 is going to be the year of graduating to the okay. next. I feel I feel very freshman. I feel like even though I've been doing this for a while, this year is just the beginning. So I feel like I'm going into freshman year and I just want to graduate okay. next year. All right, yeah. so I'm excited about it. All right, well, tell your fans, tell everyone where they can find you on Twitter, Instagram, your website. So I'm Valley again. It's at Valley B A L I on Twitter and Instagram, and my website is officialvalley.com where you can get Paper Shrade. It's yep. my new EP. I have Dimes on there featuring Wiz. Check out the video because it's really dope, and I love yes. it. Dimes featuring Wiz. Coming. All right, thank you, Valley. Thank you.